criminality that is now gone if we are a part of all so really your, your analysis is two step one the declaration of marriage as a fundamental right my lord. as being implicit in the constitutional guarantee my lord. 14 19 and 21 no, as interpreted by a lordship's lord in Putu Swami yes, Dabte, basically. And then step two, the second limb of your submission, that this also can find recognition by uh, a reading, a, a, an appropriate Milo. reading of the Spiritual Milo. Marriage Act. Milo. So you're not going into the broader issue of personal law and other things, uh, we take it. Right? No, my lord, I am not. Right. And I am not also touching any personal law of Muslims, etc., my lord. Somebody may raise an issue, I am not. Hindu marriage act, yes, but basic first will be special marriage act. And a lordship knows, my lord, a legislative tool in the Indian legislative, legislative uh, uh, devices has always been that a definition clause always starts with, my lord, your lordships are aware, unless the context otherwise requires. That is the elasticity given to every legislation, more or less, in this country by parliament that you have to, my lord, adopt or adapt to 20, 30, 50, 70 years later, can't keep changing the law, can't keep changing definitions. So you have, unless the context otherwise requires. So if the context requires that a man and a woman or a husband and wife to be treated as persons or spouses, your lordship will do it by an interpretative court, number one. Number two, this question, that whether, my lord, the court should wait for the legislature to act. Firstly, it arose, my lord, in Navtej. The court, my lord, entertained rather than waiting for the government to, my lord, remove it or not remove it. But there is, my lord, authority for the proposition in, my lord, Navtej, Chairabhanu, Puttu Swami, that the court need not wait for legislative, my lord, interference. And if it is brought to the court's notice that my fundamental right is being restricted, my lord, by the state or by the society because of its mindset, which has to now open up the court's duty is to act. That is, we are clearly laid down. We are, our lives are passing by. We are getting older. We also want to have the respectability of a marriage, respectability of a couple. What is the point of saying that only criminality in your bedroom is removed? But we are, when you go out, there is a passage of Justice Chandrachud, we are, in one of those judgments. That what matters is what happens in a public space. What, what is the concrete position? If today, my lord, what is the position? All right, 377 is gone. But if these people, call them queer, call them strange, people call them all, all different names. If they were to go to different places, people look at them. Look, they are going this way, they are going that way, they are doing this, they are doing that. That, my lord, that is a restriction or an infringement of my right, which is Article 21, to, my lord, live with dignity, freedom, privacy, Full expression of thought under 19-1A, no discrimination under 14, and my lord, in 15, as the lordship knows, not there will be no discrimination only on the ground of sex, card, creed, creed etc., and only on the ground of sex, <laughs> lord, lordship judgment, Justice Chandrachud, talking about Nargesh Mirza, that Air India case, and my lord, that Anuj Garg, that my lord, uh, the Delhi hotels case where my lord, women could not my lord, become uh, 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 employees. So your lordships have accepted Anuj Garg, which is an expensive definition of sex to mean sexual orientation. Sex does not mean my lord, only male, female. And your lordships have my lord, uh, discounted the verdict in Nargesh, clearly. So Anuj Garg has been accepted by his Lordship Justice Chandrachud in that judgment and also my Lord in Nalsa where we are dealing with transgenders there are passage after passage that if you have to give them equality that equality my Lord also must reflect positively so you have the negative part don't discriminate there is a positive part in 14 and 15 affirmative action also my Lord sorry to say that Nalsa said that give them a reservation years ago nothing is done years ago your Lordship judgment, my Lord, in Navtej, give full publicity. Today, I read in the Indian Express, today, your Lordship judgment says, give full publicity. People must know that it's not a criminal offense. Don't look at them with this stigma. My Lord, years ago, that judgment was delivered. Nothing done. And the three ministries today say, we have not done anything and we are not supposed to do anything. If this is the state of affairs 
of legislative uh, uh, interference or legislative response to judgments of this court. I have no choice but to knock at the doors of this court and say, Blood, I have a sense of deja vu. I was here. I opened the case on 377 years ago before five judges, five years ago. In this court, this is how, my lord, we reach step one. And there is a passage in Justice Sanchu's lord, verdict, which I will show, my lord, that this was the first step. That is their sense. This was the first step. Remove that obstacle. Bring them up to the mark with the others. They will walk, my lord, shoulder to shoulder. The Constitution said secular. What is secular? Regardless of caste, creed, color, sexual orientation, full expression. So we are a part of one homogeneous whole, but with the similarities of caste, creed, color, religion. But everybody is entitled in our secular uh, 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 polity, a pluralistic society. Justice Sabarwal Bilod in Coelho. Secularism is a part of basic structure. Equality is a part of basic structure. If they are a part of basic structure and a part of the triangle, Bilod, I would say quadrangle, not triangle, 14, 15, 19 and 21. If they are a part of that which are inalienable, part of the basic structure, cannot be removed by anybody, cannot be tinkered by anybody, as understood by your lordships, I am not reinventing the wheel. Whatever I am saying, Lord, is actually a paraphrase of what I have read in the last couple of days from those judgments. And I will show you some passages. I am only going to put the pieces together, Lord. And I have, Lord, for a lordship's, Lord, convenience. Justice Bhatt might recall, Lord, in that reservation case, I had made a big chart to show you how the judgments went, Lord, in reservation. Here I have made, Lord, your lordship found it, Lord, useful. Here I have, just hold on, Lord. I have made, Lord, a one-page chart. Starts, my lord, with, starts with, my lord, 1860, the penal court. My lord, just have a quick glance. It will be easy. This will give your lord, my lord, a very quick glance. Because I think only Justice Bhatt was there, my lord, in that case. After the five judges here. Yeah. <laughs> Kindly, my lord, just see. input my juniors and not by me i only dictated my lord the flow so yes so today is the rainbow my lord this is the rainbow kindly see my lord penal code by macaulay in fact justice chandrachu has used my lord the full name of macaulay which i didn't which said babington yes. <laughs> then my lord these were laws introduced in different colonies colonies under the british empire 47 is our constitution 67 Milad was the Sexual Offenses Act enacted by Parliament which legalized homosexuality in 67. Now see Milad, September 96, US is very, very Milad, interesting. US federal government enacted DOMA which stated that federal law shall not recognize the same, same sex marriage because Milad, pausing here for a minute, some states had started recognizing. So center came and said, we will not recognize because they have state and central lot know. So they formed Milord this Doma that we want to keep away. Then Milord came Lawrence versus Texas. This was a case where there was a raid Milord in the house of Mr. Lawrence. And during the raid, he was found to be Milord committing an act which was held to be this unnatural act. And he was then charged. Object was raid, but they found him Milord in the bedroom, etc. So in Lawrence, my lord, the Supreme Court upheld the right of Lawrence. It struck down, my lord, that Texas law, which was, my lord, akin to our 377. Then came Nas. Now see 2013. In Windsor, my lord, the Supreme Court struck down DOMA. That is, the federal law was struck down by the Supreme Court, my lord, uh, by the U.S. Supreme Court. Then came Milord Kaushal, which reversed Milord the Delhi High Court. Then 2013, the UK Parliament enacted another act to confer equal rights and protect dignity of same sex. 2014 is our Nalsa. Now mark 15. In 15, Milord in Oberjfell, it recognized the rights of same sex, legalized the same in the country. Milord, you see my mark, and I will show. The definition of marriage in this judgment is classic. What is marriage? 
how how lord important it is i am going to show that how important it is and this happened my lord in 2015 and this is referred to my lord in navtej and shaira banu both then my lord came putu swami i am not reading my lord uh, but there are some passages my lord of his lordship just as chandra chud as his lordship then was and i have given those passages which i am going to read and some passages of justice sanjay call then my lord shafin jahan and shakti vahini here also my lord if i may say so the common thread is the chief justice in regard to milord the right to marry a person of your own choice if you have a right to marry milord a person of your own choice in the heterosexual group and we are identical to them in terms of our right it follows is qed it follows that we should also get it and therefore you will have to milord qualitatively interpret the laws which were framed in 54 to now fall in sync with what a lordship said in the last 5 years that is milord shafin jahan then came my lord article section 370 of johar then in 2022 us enacted respect of marriage act for protecting validity of same sex marriages currently 31 countries recognize the same sex i have given the names then came deepika singh lord chief lord the chief justice again right to marry familial relationships or even queer relationships as they are called is specifically my lord dealt with and that it should be my lord can be a family unit etc now see my lord the last definition of marriage in 1968 in blacks marriage as distinguished from agreement to marry and from the acts of becoming married is a civil status condition relation of one man and woman united in life in law for life for the discharge the other and communities of duty legally incumbent or those whose associations found with definition of sex union relies on no strange now milor you are also be mark here the union relies on the 1968 definition in the counter affidavit a detailed counter has been filed by the union of 40 pages so it's not correct to say that i have to now again look at milor what the government will say they have filed a big affidavit very big affidavit and they rely milor on the 68 definition but see milor the definition of 2019 after milor society has evolved the legal union of a couple the essential of valid marriage are parties legally capable of marriage mutual consent any actual contact in the form of law definition lord of same sex 2019 ceremonial unit of two people of the same sex whether man or woman this is the evolution so so my lord union government of india is following blacks but it is following an antiquated edition if you are following the same below <laughs> the definition or the same dictionary i say follow the latest version <laughs> you can't follow a version below which is 50 years old so my, the, the 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 ultimately below it is this not the chief justice i put it i want below i request not want i request for example below the two petitioners in the first case who are they two individuals who met what a bond of faith love partnership they want to milord reach the status of a married couple like the other persons and have a family they cherish the same milord what is cherished by the others they want to lead a dignified life what the others also lead and not always to be looked upon look at them look at them for that your lordships have removed the one block that they can't go to jail the second step has to be affirmative which is a recognition of the right to marriage so that we are equal recognized by the state so that my lord society then follows the state because society my lord is resistant to change human beings are resistant to change so society follows what the law is and the law is what is milord said in parliament or what is declared by this court that is the law you the only thing which we will also need to apply mind to if you right. look at your chart my lord if you see the the us september 96 the federal government enacts the defense of marriage act yes which says the federal law shall not recognize same sex marriage then comes 2013 of course uh, the, Wind, the uk or uh, uk uh, that's right Yes, and then uh, 2013 comes the act in the in the UK, 
conferring upon uh, all same Lord Windsor is also there. Yes. Windsor, Windsor Lord 2013. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Windsor. When Doma was struck down, the federal law struck down. And struck down Doma. By law. Right. Then comes in the UK, you have a legislation which recognizes same sex uh, relationship. By law. And then finally, in 2022, you have the US Respect for Marriage Act. Yes. 2022. Yes. yes. So you had in the US something which was debilitating, which was removed from the statute book. Then you have something positive which is enacted in the UK and then which is enacted in the uh, US as well, the 2022 legislation. Now, what we therefore have to really consider is exactly what the other side is. Uh, is yes, yes, I understand that the drift of the question. Anyway. These essentially matters where even in the US and the UK legislature has intervened earlier by outlawing and later on by recognizing. Uh, in the absence of legislation, how does the court go about it? Yes, I understand there, the question. Is there a contra? I mean, is there is there uh, any there is there any indication in our legislation precluding the uh, precluding the court? Uh, so my, yes, or is my, there a legislative space within which the court can then? Uh, my, my, yeah, I understood the question. My respectful submission, Lord. One minute, your lordship may see the judgment is over Jafel in two thousand three. Uh, what is? the right of marriage and what is the constitutionality of an enforcement of right of marriage because what they are saying is you live together you want to do whatever you want but you can't tell that uh, you want to perform whatever ceremony you want to do or whatever you call it as a marriage but you can't give an imprimatur and say that that will be registered or recognized that mm -hmm. so therefore we have to go back to what is the enforceability of a right of marriage uh, so Milad, if i may answer first the chief justice Milad, if your lordship sees 2015, I have understood the drift, Milad, there the legislatures acted. They acted, pursuant to the judgments or, or the feelings of people, they acted. Here, but in 2015, Milad, as far as Ober Jafel is concerned, it recognized the right of the same-sex marriage and legalized the same. That was a judicial imprimatur. It legalized. If I correct me if I'm wrong. Sorry. There were constitutions and there were laws which were amended or enacted which prohibited gay or you know, same sex marriages. Same sex marriages. Obergefell actually struck down that and said, right. You have a right to marry. Now, the wheel has turned a full circle where you have a complete federal cover in the sense that you have a respect. Yes, yes, you're actually right. Right? So, we are at that stage. Yes. So, yes, yes, you're actually right. Quote is, we are at yeah. that stage, so how do we go about this? So, my lord. One is the declaration part which, you... which I am seeking. My lord, what I am respectfully submitting, answer to both of your lords, so in, uh, three of your lords. My lord, if, as distinct from UK and other places, if we have a fundamental right under 14, 19, 21, whatever, to be treated as identical and equal to our other brethren, then the full enjoyment of our rights to be equal to them includes the right of dignified life. If it includes the right of dignified life, which includes the right to choose a partner for marriage or choose a friend or a freedom of expression, whatever we want to express, we don't only be in writing, expression can be mirrored in love or other forms. And that it is now settled that it is innate. It is not an acquired Milord, uh, thing. Call it queer, call it what you like. If the rights have to be identical, then I must get the recognition of my union the same way as the recognition of the union of two others. And since it is based on an infraction or an implementation of my fundamental right, I can come to the court and the court need not wait for the legislature. And there is a direct passage, Milord, in one of these judgments in Sharaman. So, Milord, I can't keep waiting. There can't be a mandamus to the legislature. Legislature may or may not do. I cannot force the legislature, neither can the court. By that time, our lives will have gone. And our fundamental rights, Milord, will be in name. That there is a five judgments of the Supreme Court saying that you have the same rights. Same panoply of rights, passage after passage. If it is the same panoply of rights, there must be a remedy. And the remedy can only be a declaration to that effect by the highest court of the land saying that this is a fundamental right. And once it is the imprimatur of this court, then, my lord, it must follow 
that the state will is bound to respect it then the society will respect it and the stigma in the workplace or the public place will then go away and i'll be able to enjoy you know a unit of marriage a unit of family because that is what is accepted in our society so i in in, in short i need not wait for parliament to do what it wants to do because there can be no mandamus and then the lordship have said repeatedly if fundamental right is involved the doors of this court are open to an individual i have a right to come here i have a right to complain that this is what is happening to me in real life you know it is happening to us in real life when we go out when we talk when we meet people slowly my lord it is being accepted because the criminality is gone but not to its full panoply because people say what right have you to get married which law which court you got a judgment from the supreme court in the first one where is the second one so unless and until my lord i get a recognition of law under article 141 because that the other legislative thing is not available to me vishakha vishakha whatever if i have my lord a right that right must be examined by the court and if found it must be guaranteed 32 itself is a part of fundamental rights it must be guaranteed by the court how will the court guarantee it my lord by it's not a case of property that lord she will take it from him and give it to me or some money my lord taken from me and give it to him your lordship will my lord give it by a process which is known to law interpretation which is my lord interpretation of my fundamental rights and thereafter interpretation of the law concerned <laughs> and then leave it to parliament that this the court has done if you want to formalize it in law just as bad put it if you want to formalize it in law you jolly well amend the act or do bring a new act as these countries have done but if you don't my lord the law can remain static law moves society moves there is evolution rights are different things are different thoughts are different therefore the court will act when it is called upon to act it will do whatever it can within my lord its judicial parameters so in other words like two alternate lines of approach for the court assuming you are right that you are entitled to a declaration yes. i mean assuming of course we have to hear the other side assuming you are right that there should be a declaration of the right to marry yes. then there are two causes of action according to you either the court then finds a legislative void in that parliament has not recognized has not legislated right, expressly right. to recognize the right of marry and therefore finding a legislative void you supplant that uh, yes. deficiency so long as parliament and the law the other option is to locate the locate the uh, the the uh, modalities for implementing that declaration yes. in existing law correct so my lord my my short respectful most respectful answer would be if you take vishakha as an example in vishakha there was no law at all the court laid down a set of rules which was to work as interim law if i may use that phrase interim law or rules and regulations under article 141 till my lord parliament acts parliament then acted but the void was filled up in vishakha in this form i am saying that in our case because of our past history vishakha had no history there were no cases before that we have past history of puttu swami navtej all these cases shafeen etc etc in that part history past history all i am requesting is the second step and the second step to be implemented not by the vishakha rules but by virtue of the law already available by my lord a process of legislative interpretation that's how i would put it